If you have ever owned any priceless goods, you'll know it doesn't matter how much it gets stomped upon, the hair stomping does not reduce its value. The value you've decided to place on your self-worth is not linked to the price tag your master has placed on you. When he sees you, he sees his treasured possession. Wherever your treasure is, there your eyes are fixed and your heart is channeled towards it. What do you see when you see you? A broken reed or a faintly burning fire? Because he was not broken, you remain intact. His light burns radiantly within your heart. Why? Because he alone is where your justice and hope comes from. You are stronger in your weakness. The strength gained in your moment of weakness will become for you the resilience that weathers the storms. Where your strength may not take you, grace finds and takes you there. This present dispensation of grace is available to you if you make the choice to take off the old veil. You must understand that your self-worth ain't dependent on how you feel about yourself, but rather how the one who made you sees you. If precious metals are easily unearthed, then it is no longer precious. Abuse is inevitable. But when these metals are rare, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. You are a rare, uncommon commodity set aside as a treasured possession for a special purpose use. I'd like to think of our body as a capacitor. There is a certain amount of energy or charge that can be applied to a capacitor beyond which it reaches its max and can no longer hold the charge. But can a fragile vessel sustain the pressure of an immense light so great? Our frame might be fragile, but your capacity to contain the light becomes directly proportional to the word when you allow the word to do its work of transformation. This charge produces in you great power. Only those in the light are capable of discharging to great effect. Understand this, the degree of light in you will determine the wavelengths of the rays you are capable of emitting. Can a product ever turn to its manufacturer to ask, what are you making? Can a product say to its maker, look, what you've made is rubbish. You and I are the handiwork of a master craftsman, made beyond valuation, priceless to the beholder. And so, if there is one thing you can lay claim today, lay claim to the light who wants to make its abode in your heart. You may not comprehend or understand the transformative power of this light, but your willingness to permit the work of perfection will become for you the stepping stone that brings forth the light stored up in you. So we arise this day, keep declaring, I'm his treasure possession made for greater works.